Hi, my name is Brian English, Wapla Forum name Hyperbytes. In this module, we're going to secure our administrative um, template so that only those that are authorized as an administrator can actually gain access. So how are we going to do this? Well, first, I need to explain admin in the context means it is people who have full administrative access to the website so those who have access to say perhaps um, remove users remove permissions um, edit the seo etc rather than those who have limited access where they can perhaps add a blog entry or add some business information so this is our most secure area um, on the website basically we do have one small problem at the moment because we don't have an administrator to test it in. So I'm going to manually create an administrator here. So if I look at our user table and if I view the data, we currently only have one user in there. That's me, user 14. If I now look at the roles associated with user 14, you can see at the moment there is only a member role. So I'm going to manually create an administrative authority for that record so now Brian English is a full-blown administrator of the um, website so we'll close that down so now we're going into our um, workflows take that out that's from a, a demo run I'm going to create a new folder in here I'm going to call that security in which I'm going to keep all of the security routines that are required for the website and inside that I'm going to add an API action and I'm going to call that is admin. In other words, it's going to test if the person is an admin and it's a very, very simple process. We're just going to add a security provider, security restrict stage. We're using our provider comweb still we're looking for administrators and I'll just point out here if you add member this isn't administrator or member it is both so you'd have to have both of those authorities um, which in technically they actually would because everybody is a member but there's little point in putting that there so nobody who is doesn't have the full administrator authority will be able to get past this restriction stage and if they fail on that then we're just going to bounce them over to the login page so let's save that that was a really easy process now if we go into our admin if we look at our server connect server actions security is admin and add that basically that means that that particular server action will be called when that layout is loaded and of course, if the person does not have the administrative authority, they will be sent over to the login page to login. Um, so basically, that's the the simplistic of our um, administrative console. Is one thing I'm going to change because it's it will bug me. If we go into our routing, you see our admin home page has automatically got its root created for obvious reasons but I don't want to have to type all of that in what I want is if I just type in CW admin I want it to serve up this particular page so I'm just going to manually change that root really straightforward to do I'm going to hit control s and there we are the page path has been changed so let's have a look now and fire that up We've tried to fire that up. It's immediately detected that we are not logged in as an administrator. Therefore, we do not have access to that admin menu. Um, so I'm going to log in. And we're going to give it that very complicated password. And we're going to log in. Now, hopefully, in that account, we are now properly logged in. Therefore, if we again go to our admin home page, you'll see, first of all, it's taken us to the correct route that we wanted. But you'll see that now it has allowed us to view that admin menu um, so that once we add our appropriate entries into there, we can administer the website. So that's how we secure our admin module. I hope you enjoyed that, and I hope that you will join me in the next module. Thank you very much. Oh,